Yo, what is going on guys? Episode number 20 of the Deke History. We've made it to 20 episodes, and in this episode, we're going to try to go for Division 1 or Division 4 or 3. We just want to keep moving our way up, and a nice passing play right there to Stasny to give us a 1-0 lead, and this kid was just done. We only played like 5 minutes, and he was just done. So we win this game 1-0. I don't know why he quit. The game was 2-2 in shots. I guess he just was not having a Stasny goal. Anyway, we move into this game. Ryan Miller's stats are going up very, very so slowly. I want the 920 save percentage and goals against average 1.2 is fine for me. But as long as we're scoring goals, I think we'll be fine because Miller hasn't really had any games where he's been so bad where he's allowed like five or six key goals, not games. <laughs> anyway, Luongo, 5-0 record. Not the greatest goals against average and save percentage, so I was a little bit like confused here. But I was like, he only played five games this kid might not be that good, so if we're going into this game with some confidence. Kane did not score on either of those shots, but Kessler does get a very nice goal right there. Last episode, I believe we went like an amazing like 7-0-1 or something like that, a record like that. We acquired Ryan Kessler, and our team's just been very good. We've been scoring a ton of goals and playing pretty good defense, and Petrolangelo makes it 2-0 on his power play, so a shorthand goal for us. And Luongo is not looking so good right now. It's 2-0. Right off the faceoff, Hansel gets a breakaway, goes backhand upstairs. 3-0, two shorthanded goals on his one power play. I think it was a double minor, maybe it was a major. I think it was double minor, though. But anyway, that was a really nice goal from Hansel. Hansel's a very, very good player, underrated player for sure in this game. I want to try out his player of the game, but quite expensive. Do not have the coins at the moment. So we win that game, so we go right back where we started winning a bunch of games against New York Rangers, or a New York Rangers fan. And Bobby Ryan with a nice little move, and Patrick Kane would finish to make it 1-0 for our team. Bad defensive player right there. Should have just shot on that. Did not. He gets a break away and does not score but then he slaps it in i think that might have been stall not sure but i believe that was jordan stall who slaps it in a good save on my goalie a bad shot from him like the angle he shot it at but he didn't give up with the play he got the puck back and he just slapped it in he shoots right there my goalie had it and then i don't know who ran on top of him probably petrangelo and that is why the goalie probably did not have it but yeah he runs on top of him my goalie's knocked out and then Petrolangelo just is in the way and the puck's wide open and slaps it home to tie the game at one three minutes left in the third on our power play Ryan Kessler scores to make it 2-1 and we just want to end this game here no overtime Patrick Kane comes on in trying to set up a play a nice little move from him gets through the whole team sees Stasny open and Stasny would score a very 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 nice goal from Kane he literally went through five players and Stasny was just wide open right in front of the net so another shorthanded goal for us and Patrick Kane that was all you Stasny was just there for the goal but Patrick Kane what an amazing play and Stasny with the finish to make it a 3-1 game for us and that would be the end of this game so good game man very very good games overall throughout this whole series and this team i have a few losses i think five or six losses maybe maybe four losses but only three in regulation and i felt pretty confident with this team we've been playing really good defense some plays i could play better i get cocky sometimes probably too often than i want to probably should definitely hold my leads better i'll have a two nothing lead and i'll play a little bit different and that's not good you want to play the same way as you're playing as you're winning this game we actually got outshot but we still won most games we outshoot and win but ryan miller a really good 95 save percentage so that'll improve his stats and patrick kane with three points we're gonna open these two free packs not expecting anything in these but you know maybe uh someone like a Vgeny malkin would be kind of nice anyway so we open the first one <laughs> we get nothing at all not really expecting anything i probably shouldn't be quick selling these contracts but not really paying attention because i keep running into contract problems where i have to just go i mean i'm not like poor or anything like that like i could afford them but it's just quite annoying because i'm getting them all free right now and i'm just quick selling them when i'm actually running into a lot of like i don't have any contracts at all and i don't really open packs i haven't been opening packs lately so that's a little bit like i should be keeping those but anyway Ryan Miller almost at that 920 save percentage, 1.18 goals against average. I don't even know what his actual record is. Again, if the other team quits, he gets a loss, sadly, so that is why 
he's 19 and 11. He probably is like 25 and like four or five, something like that. That's probably his actual record. So he's been very, very good for us. He's not boosted. I wonder if he would play differently if he was 99 boosted or something like that. But this game we go against a, I don't know what league this is. It might be SM Liga. It could be wrong. Could be right, maybe. the very small chance I am. But anyway, it might be in the SHL actually. But we go up against Sergei Bobrovsky who hasn't, his stats do not look very good right there. We're trying to just get the puck out. <coughs> we do not. And he scores to make it 1-0. I thought I had the puck out, but we did not. And Patrick Kane just keeps poking it. Finally got it out, but lost it. Pokes it again. Gets it out. Bobby Ryan pokes it. Gets it out. And then he just keeps coming. He got the puck so many times. Petrolangelo makes a nice little move. And the puck goes right past Fowler for Bobby Ryan. Gets a little bit of lag, which quite annoying. Bobby Ryan slows up. He's going to carry it down to the point, give it to Petrolangelo, Petrolangelo to Kane, and Kessler would finish a very, very nice passing player right there and finishes off in overtime with a goal from, I don't even know who scored. It might have been Gagne for him. And it is a 2-1 overtime loss, so sadly another loss to Ryan Miller's belt again in overtime. So I'm not really going to complain, but it was like 10 seconds in overtime. It was Botker, sorry about that. Botker's a very good player, so yeah, and obviously any player who's wide open like that in a cross crease is probably going to score most of the goals, so not going to blame Miller, going to blame my defense and how I let this game slip away. So there is a loss for us there. We haven't had too many losses. I think our last three losses have been an overtime or shootout, so just add that onto that. We go up against a USA flag logo team, and we go up real quick. In the second period well not real quick but we go up one nothing from ryan nugent hopkins who's been a bit quiet but finally he's turning up and we go one nothing <laughs> we're just getting shots every single time we get the puck here he throws it out hansel misses the net we had about four or five shots in that sequence with three minutes left in the third trying to just get this game out of hand for him and we do not capitalize there luckily he doesn't score there we throw the puck a little puck chop and it doesn't go out and I, I just don't know the, the the play right here everything that happened was just so bad for us and then he just snipes it good play for him but he snipes it to make it a 1-1 game and once again we're going to overtime we do not want to have back-to-back -back losses so Hop, McDavid to Nugent Hopkins back to McDavid and that would be it he buries that one I don't know how much that was over the line but McDavid has been very good. Hopkins has been very good. Just so many of these players on our team have been very good. And even the players who are not scoring or doing that much on the score sheet have been playing good for us because they're not playing as much time as others, obviously. Like Reinhardt, you never really see him on the score sheet, but he's only playing five minutes and he's playing very good. And that squeaks by. I didn't realize that. It squeaks by him. And uh, we get another win over time. Luckily, we did not lose because... A lot of these overtime losses we're getting, it's uh, we're just blowing leads or we're not playing good defense. We had 25 shots to his 18, and once again, I said we got another win. And moving to this game, Ryan Miller's stats are about the same. His goals against average went up a bit, and his save percentage is almost at that 920, but he's 20 and 12. So, again, Ryan Miller's working his way up. It would be amazing or like unreal to see a goalie with like 50 games played and a 950 save percentage, but that's a little bit too out of hand. 920 is fine, especially in Division One if your goalie is playing like that and you score two or three goals a game. That's really good. And now we're playing against Bob Rowski again with a 17 and five record with a 1.48 goals against average. So very good for him. We're trying to capitalize real quick on another Leafs fan, and with five minutes, six minutes into the first period, he would skate it down. A nice play by him, I guess. Just a terrible defensive play by me. And we go on a five-minute power play, trying to tie this game up. We see Kessler wide open, and Kessler would bury it. Only nine seconds into the power play, so we still got plenty of time left on the power play. Three more minutes on the power play. I said power play a lot. But yeah, we got a five-minute power play. So Hopkins would take it on. He sees mcdavid which i don't know how this went in but we'll take it the backhands are definitely op stasny would get the puck still on the power play stasny nice drop pass palat nice drop pass and mcdavid finishes a beautiful play that was such a nice play two drop passes and just very very nice Fanuf would take the puck and we had another we had a double i believe this one was a double minor but this guy got a lot of penalties and we're just holding it in and mcdavid gets the hat trick i think this might be the first hat trick we had I might have been Bobby Ryan a long time ago, but McDavid gets a hat trick and we hit a 4-1 lead. Let's make it 4-2 lead 
and let's make it a 4-3 lead. So terrible defense on my part. Not going to blame Miller at all, but just terrible defense by my part. 30 seconds left in the period. This guy's going to pull his goalie. After allowing him to get back to make it 4-2, 4-3, we're not done. We're going to let him get back and make it 4-4, and we're going to go all the way to overtime. After getting a 5-minute power play and a 4-minute power play, we're finally going to be on the penalty kill, and Hansel is just going to skate by everyone and score. I wouldn't really say he skated by. The puck just kind of dribbled past everyone, and he found the puck, put it behind the net, and we walk out of the way. We walk away from our home. Luckily, with a win, not a very good game at all. Defense was terrible. We're lucky we scored some goals. We're lucky we had those two big power plays and we capitalized on them a lot, but not a very good win and not a very good way to almost get in Division Three. but hey, we got a win. Forget about this game, but defense definitely needs to tighten up. You could look at all those goals we gave up, maybe besides one of them, and it's obviously all my fault, so <clears throat> have to tighten that up there. We had five more shots than him, and we're going to look at the points and see who's leading the team it is still our captain with i believe 31 points in 33 games bobby ryan some other key names are kane has 18 games played and 16 points so he's doing pretty good and some other names like mcdavid has 14 games and 12 points and ryan kessler has four goals and no assists that's a little bit shocking in six games so if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i will see you guys next time